Ryan, how does one invest in a structured product? So we've spoken about the, the, the platform through which one can price up your own ideas or see ideas that have been put forward by, by ABSA. Um, but we also then have a, a shelf range which is then designed and made available by ABSA. And all of that, whether it's the RAND denominated uh, issuance or the dollar or hard currency uh, issuance, is basically on the product shelves of most linked investment service providers or stockbroking platforms. So provided you have a LISP and or a, a, a custody slash stockbroker that is able to access um, a particular note, you, uh, you, you, you go through those, uh, those routes. And it's simply a case of in the, in the example of an ABSA shelf offer, um, logging on to the ABSA website, seeing what's on sale at the moment. Typically, we run what we call monthly book builds. Uh, we keep the same shapes up and out there all the time uh, while, while pricing and uh, the investment rationale makes sense. But if it's up on the shelf, it's gonna be there monthly. Uh, you're able to then, um, see which LISPs are hosting that particular product. Sometimes it's all of them, sometimes it's only one. Um, so we make it clear as to who, who, who you can buy through when it comes to the LISP side of things. The LISPs really only get involved uh, when you need a regulatory wrapper of some sorts. So some of the products will be wrapped in living annuities or linked endowments. So, uh, Look out for that. That would typically involve some sort of life company as well. Um, and then the hard currency issuance is generally unwrapped uh, with no um, linked endowment wrapper around it. And that you can purchase through pretty much any offshore custodian and or local stockbroker who has offshore capabilities.